Good morning, and welcome to our weekly Organ Plus concert. We welcome you to the United Methodist Church of Sun City Center, Florida. I'm Keith Rasmussen, the Associate Director of Music and the Chief Noisemaker, or some people call it Organist. We welcome you to our concert today, featuring the works of Vidor and his teacher. But first, let's go to Kevin Goodnow, who will tell us of some upcoming events which may be of interest to you. Kevin? Thank you, Keith. Here are some upcoming concerts you may be interested in attending. On Friday night, October 16th at 7 o'clock, we will be hosting an amazingly talented pianist by the name of Bobby Van Dusen. He's performed with the likes of Al Hurt and Pete Fountain. He is also the current title owner of the World Championship Old Time Piano Playing Contest Senior Division in an annual competition that has been held since at least 1975 in Oxford, Mississippi. We will request a $10 donation at the door Friday night for that concert. The Keith Rasmussen organ concert that we had scheduled for Sunday, October 18th has been canceled, sadly. Since he's been presenting these wonderful Wednesday mini concerts, we felt it would be better to wait and reschedule a full-scale concert at a later date. On Friday, October 23rd, we're going to have a great doo-wop group called Chicago Heat, singing your favorites from the 50s and the 60s. You can come support the local South Shore Kiwanis chapter raise money for scholarships for local high school seniors as you're taken back to a simpler time when music was beautiful and harmonic. Tickets are on sale in the church office for $10. And that concert will wrap up the October concert schedule. We will be observing CDC recommended safety measures at all these concerts, so please bring your masks. There will also be appropriate social distancing measures and limited 25% capacity seating. So plan to arrive a little early to ensure a seat. If you have any questions about these or any other concerts, please feel free to contact me, Kevin Goodnow, the concert coordinator, at 813 3620956 Keith back to you Thank you Kevin There's lots of interesting things <clears throat> coming up just don't come Sunday afternoon because I will not be playing Our first piece or this this concert is called Vidor not just the Toccata um, Vidor's professor was Lemons who lived from 1823 to 1881. Um, Lemon studied with Fetis and Hesse to learn the Bach tradition. And there is an old tradition of an unbroken line of organists from Bach to contemporary. Bach taught Kittel, who taught Rink, who taught Hesse, who taught Lemons, who taught Guimau and Vidor, who, who taught Dupre, and then the stream widens out after that point. But at one point, you had not become an organist unless you studied with Dupre in France. Lemons was the organ teacher at Brussels Conservatory. He stunned audiences with his technique, particularly his pedal technique, because of all his Bach study. Um, Lemons founded the French organ school of playing. Um, with its precision and accuracy and rhythmic vigor. So the first piece is the fanfare by Lemons. Thank you. 
We now go to Charles Marie Vidor and his fourth symphony. Vidor lived from 1844 to 1937, a very, very long life. He studied with Lemons, I believe for three years. I couldn't find that reference this morning, but I believe that's what it was. He had a lesson every morning at eight o'clock in the morning. He practiced all day and worked on composition at night. What it takes to become a virtuoso. Vidor was a prominent organ teacher, a professor of composition also at the conservatoire. He was a friend of Cavella Cole, the famous organ builder, who would use him to give opening concerts on his new instruments and help him sell more instruments. Um, Vidor taught the preeminent organists and composers of his day. He followed Cesar Franck at the conservatoire. The students were stunned with the first meeting with Vidor because he told them about their technical demands that they would have to learn, and they must learn the music of Bach before they could compose and improvise, and they thought they were just devastated. Vidor was the organist at Saint-Sulpice in Paris for 64 years. It seems that the, the bishop or the priest made him the organist when he was a very young man. Others complained that he was too young to have such a prestigious position. So he was made the provisional organist instead. Well, Vidor wasn't too comfortable with that, so every year on the anniversary of his hiring, he took a little gift to the priest. But the priest never changed his status. He was provisional for 64 years. Wow. One of his foremost students was Albert Schweitzer, who taught him the German chorale or hymn tradition, and he and Vidor um, coordinated together, collaborated on the preeminent Bach edition. Vidor wrote 10 organ symphonies or collections of works. This particular piece is kind of like a folk song with variations and little interludes. The Andante by Charles-Marie Vidor from his fourth symphony.
next piece is the Adagio by Vidor from the Fifth Symphony. This work um, has the melody in the right hand and then the pedal will bring in the melody a measure later in canon. It uses the organ strings on the keyboards and the pedal flutes in the pedal. I coupled down as many big fat flutes as I could and it works out really pretty well. This is the calm before the storm of the Toccata in F by Vidor. This is the quintessential Toccata that everyone tries to play. Some play it better than others. This is known for its relentless driving rhythm and studying, stunning pedal themes. If you listen closely, you'll hear a fair amount of counterpoint and a lot of key changes in the manuals. There are other arrangements of this work for brass. Every Easter we do a brass and organ. And there's a choir arrangement by Wilcox titled Sing, which the organist just plays the toccata and the choir sings along. We'll have to do that here sometime. When I was a senior in high school, I was given this piece to learn probably before I should have, but I, was, I got my score in October of 1971. That weekend, my lesson was on a Tuesday morning. That weekend, I was supposed to go to a Bible camp, and I did not want to go because I had just gotten the Vidor. Well, my father put his foot down and insisted I go to Bible camp. So when I returned, I learned it very quickly. And that year, I won the amateur hour playing this piece. When I began working here several years ago, um, Charlie Rents, our senior pastor, asked me if I knew the Vidor Toccata. I told him that I did. And the first Sunday I played it, my first Easter, he said, I knew you knew it, but I didn't know you could play it from memory. Well, um, I counted. There's 10 pages of black notes who wouldn't want to memorize it. You just think about it in your mind and not have to turn pages and all the rest of that stuff. Vidor played it very slowly, about 100 beats per minute or even slower, but the church where he played it was very reverberant. Many people play this like they're in a race to go to lunch or to go somewhere, um, like it's a race to the finish, 120, 125. I have chosen 115 metronome beats per minute. It seems to work in this acoustic and you feel the relentless drive of the piece but it doesn't feel like you're trying to sit on a racehorse and ride it to the conclusion. So the Adagio and the Toccata in F by Vidor from the Fifth Symphony and this was written in the 1880s um, within 10 years of Lemons, his teacher, passing. So the Adagio and the Toccata by Vidor.
Thank you.